Hey, Gaming Geek here with a quick unboxing video of Sword and Sorcery. Just got this yesterday and a bunch of Kickstarter seem to be coming in all at the same time. I got Gloom of Killforth um, and I know that Shadows of Brimstone will be coming in as well. So I'm going to be busy doing a lot of painting of these miniatures. This is the Immortal Hero Pledge and I don't even remember when the Kickstarter was for this. Uh, it was so long ago. I basically like to just pledge and forget about it. And so this was a nice surprise. Uh, this is Vastorus's Lair right on top. And then maybe this is all the Kickstarter stuff. open these up and see what's inside of them. So here we have all of the miniatures. Look at that guy right there. That's pretty cool. So this first uh, monsters. Here's, underneath that is all of the rules. A book of secrets. And this is the all the cards coming in there. And, um, and this appears to be all of the heroes. Let's open this up. Flat versions. And there's a card stock. So you get both versions. I'm not sure why. Uh, the thin stuff and the card stock versions of the heroes. So this is the card, the card holder. And just lots of great artwork for the dungeons. And that's cool. Tons of tokens. really happy with um, the artwork. It's really clear. It's not too dark. And just token after token. So I'm going to have to figure out how to store all these chits. This is great, these wheels. So more uh, it actually does look like a lair. And it comes with Vastris. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. So that's a cool model. So that'll, that'll be fun to paint up. And then little dragon guys. Is that really it? This is a pretty big box. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And this box which is... What is it? More heroes. Um, nice little bag. Oh, all of the um, spirit forms. Of the heroes that you can play. More heroes, I think, in here. Oh, nice. Look at that. These coins are looking cool. Yeah, take a look at those. I think that... that these coin, these metal coins, I really like these metal coins. So that's really nice. And then a bunch of furniture. And 
extra set of dice, which is always handy. All right, so here is everything uh, unbagged and laid out for you to see. I think the card holder is pretty nifty, although it's pretty big. Um, I prefer actually using these business card holders. Uh, and then they're pretty cheap if you buy online a couple of them. I don't exactly know if these are the right cards. I think they are, but yeah, that's a nifty little card holder that they do include. And this is a lot of miniatures. So here are the heroes. And I am really impressed with the detail that are in these heroes. Here are the ghost forms. But if you look at just how detailed that is, it's pretty amazing. And so I'm, I'm very impressed with the quality of these miniatures and how well these plastics came out. I mean, look at this guy. This, this is an awesome miniature. And so I'm going to look forward to painting these guys. So very impressed with the detail that uh, these miniatures are showing. And I split these up into all of these different groups. And also impressive is that they have different sculpts. And so you'll notice with these guys, um, I think uh, this guy even, even though it's the same pose as this one, he's holding a different weapon in his hand. See? So very impressed that it isn't just one sculpt, but they have different poses, and especially like it when the boss, the red guy, is uh, has this hat on. So very impressed with that. And I like uh, this wolf guy, who's an animal companion, and then this this is the bear. I don't, I don't remember her name, Sam, Samira or something like that. I think she has the bear with her. Um, and the nice thing about if you did end up getting the Mortal Pledge, you get a whole nother set of all of the playable heroes. But I probably won't paint those. I'll just keep those in their ghost form. But very impressive. Uh, here are the regular doors. I think the standees are, are fine, but... Clearly, these 3D plastics are awesome, so we'll need to paint those up as well. Uh, I th and I, I figured out that these are monster cards, which is cool. And I have, um, with the Immortal Pledge, you, you get, the, get to use the monsters from... Galaxy Defender, so I already have these guys painted up and with the monster cards included in case for whatever strange reason I need more um, monsters, I can include those guys in there. So I look back at the Kickstarter and I think this is the base set here. You get the gremlins, the raiders, orc shamans here, orc warriors, these uh, six heroes, um, actually five, and then the wolf, and then these two bosses. So the Kickstarter um, definitely has a lot more material, and this isn't even all of it. I think there's going to be a wave two that's coming later. Uh, I'm not even sure what's in wave two. It might just be um, the second act that you can play through. Uh, also, these um, tokens are pretty cool. Uh, they're reversible. And this one seems the same, but I think because you can play the dark and light side of, of some of the heroes, uh, it's, a, it's slightly different, so these are cool. But that's the Kickstarter set. And looking forward to painting and playing.